Oh, uh, he might actually, oh my goodness. That one's huge. This is huge. All right, guys, I'm Zachary Fowler. That's Chris, the Wooded Beardsman. And this is a 360 lobstering adventure, part of our Wilderness Living Challenge, a little sub episode. So if you want to see stuff, take your phone, you turn it around, you can see everything we're looking at. Turn your phone down, you can see the lobsters and out and look at the boats as we're pulling out of the harbor, if it works right. This is the first time I've used this. This is the Fusion from GoPro and uh, in addition, I've included five very strange, out of place things, kind of like this throughout the video, that if you are to spot them, leave it in the comments below, say what they are and what minute they appear at. And when the video hits a million views, I will pick three people at random that found the anomalies, left it in the comments below, and send them $100 Amazon gift cards. So make sure you're looking all around as you're watching the video and share this when you're done watching it. I guess that's about does it, let's do this adventure. It's our lucky day. Was that first try? No, it's second, second try. try. Second try. Not bad. Hey, All right, hop good? in. Why don't you ride in the front so we stay balanced? Right. We are down here in Rockport Harbor. It is a beautiful day. Ew. Seat's wet. Seat's wet. Won't take Wipe off. it off with your butt. Here we go. Out of the beautiful town of Rockport, going to check our traps for the second time. We got six lobsters the first time. This is a personal trap license. We are on day five of the Wilderness Living Challenge. Check out the link below. You can watch the whole series, go back and watch it from the beginning. The whole point is we are to gain or maintain our body weight by eating nothing but wild foods. Wilderness Living Challenge, main edition. What's your predictions, Chris? How many lobsters? Really? That many? Is that what I said before? Yeah, that's what you said before. He's sticking to his number. I'm gonna go one less. Leave it in the comments below. How many lobsters do you think we haul? We got five traps. Last time, we had six lobsters and about 50 throwbacks. So, hopefully we do a little better than that. How many feet down? 25, 30. 30, 30, I think it's like 35, 40 feet of rope I put on each one of these. I would have sat them shallower had I known how much work it took to lift them off the bottom. A little bit of fog as we get out of the harbor. If you look in that direction, you can't see anything. It just disappears. Oh, I see something. Uh, there is something diving, a, a seal or something. today it's not windy yeah not, not dragging the boat yeah <laughs> ladder I still haven't actually gotten it off the bottom I'm just hauling up excess line no it's coming I got stronger already in the first one day of hauling and I'm already stronger All right. oh, 
push it sideways and turn it. Woo, crab! I see a crab. I see a crab. A bunch of crabs. Oh man, there's a big one. There's a definite keeper. There's a definite keeper there. You guys don't get too excited because they're not all keepers. We have to measure every single one of them. Oh, uh, he might actually, oh my goodness. That one's huge. This is huge. That's the biggest one we've got That's so a, far. He might be too long. Too long? Please don't be too long, what? please. What? I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, the, the gauge here has a, Oh man. if it's over. No, he's not too long. He's perfect. Oh my goodness, he's too short. Just kidding. <laughs> there he is. Beauty. Wow, that is a record. Yeah, that one's that's huge. That's a, that's like a, <laughs> do I, here, stick out your tongue. No, stick no, out your no. tongue. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's one for the, one for the pot right there. One for the pot. Should I leave that open or is that jinxing us? <laughs> Let's see. This guy, he looks too short. Yeah, he's a throwback. Straight he's up. He's a straight up. Straight up. Look at that. Oh. We finally cool. got a crab. We got a crab. Look at that. Nice one. A little crab. Only one claw though. Those are full of meat. So that should be good. There we go. This guy might be a keeper. No. Nice. He's too short. We're getting pretty good at predicting this after just oh right there on the wait. No, it snaps over the back of the shell, so it's no good. No, no peepee. -pee. Look at how cute he is. Oh, or she. Oh, that is a she. A tiny. So we got one keeper that probably weighs five pounds. It's a male, because it doesn't have the feathery fin underneath here. The first set of swim fins are hard and firm, so they are definitely, definitely a male. And if it was a female, we're looking for a notch on the tail here or eggs so that we have to throw her back or add a notch if she has eggs so that we can protect her and she can breed. Wow, that thing is huge. That's that's as much as two of the ones that we caught the other day. Yeah, that's a big one. All right. You want some bait? Yeah, some bait. They smell strong. Hopefully that makes the lobsters go crazy. All right, lost sight of... Behind us. Well, everything. Sorry, all right, so there's the pots over us. there. We're doing good. We haven't floated far. It's all baited up. The bait bag is tied to the string inside of here. The tail web's in there. As you can see the lobster trap. They come in here. They go through here. And as you haul it up, they fall back into here. They kind of come and go as they please. And then when you haul it, the ones that you pull up fall to the back of it. And they're in there. And then they can escape through here if they're tiny or undersized and it reduces the amount that you catch, but it also gives them a sporting chance, I guess. We're gonna take this one, we're gonna move it in a little bit, see if that increases our crab catch. We'll move the whole string of traps in this position. So much easier today. This is so light. Oh, uh, 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 <laughs> this is the hard part, getting it up over that lip. Lobster boats have a little thing there. Whew, that's a good number. Alright, well we got one that looks like a definite, but it's not. Look at that. It's a female, it's a female. She's full of eggs and there is a sign of a former notch right there, but it's gone kind of away. Here, watch. So you're supposed to mark this fin right here for the female. There's a little bit of a notch that's worn off, so I have to re-notch it. This doesn't hurt her at all. And in fact, it protects her so she can continue to remain a breeder. Just a little quarter inch notch. 
and we'll let her go. Whoa, she almost got me. So she'll heal up just fine. She's got a little notch now in her second fin over from the, the first fin over from the, the middle fin here. See those eggs? She's just full of eggs. She's gonna make babies, make happy little lobsters. Take care, honey, have a good life. Be a good mother to those children. Keeper, there's one. That's a keeper. Too small, too small. All right, say goodbye. Goodbye. Three. Three and crab. Sling the boat around and drop it off in its new spot. I turned it off to save the battery because it's flying by with the battery on that. So we're on trap number four. The last trap caught, uh, what was it? Two or three. Two or three. We're up, we're up to six. We're I up think. to six. So no big ones, just one without claws and, uh, and keepers. So we're up to six. The only way I win is if we don't catch any more than one. Uh, there's gotta be at least one in there. It looks like it. And it's a keeper. It's a keeper. There's seven. Come on, one more. We need, need a bigger bucket. <laughs> Come on, three more. There we go. Too small. Other keepers in this trap. Got one, come on. I'll check him, but. No? No. I can't see him. Oh, we got a piece of seaweed. At least we got a snack. All right. One more lobster. Chris wins. Come on, one more. Oh, piece of seaweed. Uh, mm, a little snack will I work. Awesome? Yeah, man. Too small. Small. Oh yeah, just right. No notch. Male, no eggs. Woo we got him. Chris wins. Or yeah, Chris wins. The bet here. <laughs> Looks like there's no other ones. It might be one more. Maybe. Hey, don't be ruining my dinner with a crack in his claw. Look at them all in there. I had so many. And that's the last of them. Let's bait it up and head back in. That's a good one to win, huh? Four, Eight lobsters. Four each, man. Four each. What do we do with the giant one? <laughs> Does somebody get four of the regulars and then somebody gets the giant one? Goes to the skinnier person. Yeah. Oh, wait, that's you. Oh, man. <laughs> you save it. Yeah. Save you, get, you get guest rights. <laughs> oh, wait, shouldn't I get like uh, hauling rights, you know? Like first dibs, you know, and the one that pulled her out. I think I won the bet though, so. Oh, that's true. You get the big one because you won the bet. That's, that's fair. That, leave it in the comments below. Is that fair that he gets the big <laughs> lobster because he won the bet? If you want to see us eat these, you're going to have to uh, watch Wilderness Living Challenge Maine, season five of the Wilderness Living Challenge that we're doing here. Check out that link for the playlist of Wilderness Living Challenge Maine Series 7 Days of Eating Wild and Adventures here in Maine and leave it in a comment below should I do this again and what should I do for my next 360 cam adventure. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Fowler out.